Antinatalism is a subject that has to do with the extinction of life on Earth, something the majority of people are already heading right for. The majority of people do not breed sufficiently to maintain human population. It's a fact. We have these different perceptions, and it's made out of some sort of different knowledge base, some different life experience, different bits of information that one person has, the other person doesn't have, vice versa. Reductionistic about our existence to do this biology thing, this chemistry thing, this physics thing. Recognize that, yes, this doesn't have any brilliant idea here. This reverence for this, I mean, like I said, it's pretty. It's very pretty, attractive. But that's all, it's aesthetics. The substance of it is consumption, reproduction, DNA selfishly attempting to creep over every surface it can to capitalize. There's, there's nothing high-minded about it. Just this whole idea of what people think. You know, when they think about life, they obviously, they have puffy the word, they've made it soft and friendly and beautiful, all the, the little adjectives they live by, all the attractive, desirous qualities. But yeah, what the universe vacant of it, it's like you could just go through all of human history and you could say, well, there's no people living on Easter Island again. Is the universe diminished? Is there a part of the universe screaming somewhere because there's no people, there's no Easter Islanders anymore? This whole notion of, of, of of matter needing to be in this form of consciousness and if it isn't in a form of consciousness it's somehow lame and broken and insufficient and and <laughs> it just seems like such a silly notion in the first place that there's certainly no need we create need we are the need creator sentient organisms create need there's no other source of need in the universe the universe cannot be put in a harm state until you put us in it until you put something sentient in it we're the thing that creates the vulnerability. And that's got to be justified. Like I said, if you're not satisfying any other condition, can the condition possibly be a positive? You really can't make a positive move from a non-negative state, in a sense. You really can't. You can't go up if there's no up. There's only seven billion people on planet Earth. Is the universe in horrific pain or is there a huge ache or, or longing or missing? Because, you know, we could theoretically turn all the rest of the substance of the universe into little conscious beings attempting to eke out their little ego gratification. I mean, it's, it's just preposterous, this whole notion that people are living by, that this is somehow the right standard. Oh yeah, seven billion, oh yeah, that's a good number. Yeah, yeah, it's a good number. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's an arbitrary, meaningless number. If I knock it down to three, all these people who have lived in the seven billion world are gonna say, we're missing three billion people. Well, we're not missing them. You're missing them in your stupid fucking head. <laughs> They're not missed anywhere else, but in your stupid perception. So it's just stupid. There doesn't need to be people. There doesn't need to be another generation of this, this game we're playing. And if the game were free, or anywhere close to free, I'd say, okay, go ahead and play your stupid game. Who cares? But you know it's not. You know, to keep pretending. You know, especially talking from your non-blighted circumstance about how glorious it all is. It's just bullshit.